Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlicker shills, deathly search peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks, robots. I'm usually welcome. And a story uh, surfaced this week that uh, is really interesting to me because it, it once again, it is a great example of the idea that moving forward, uh, AI will eventually replace uh, a, a lot of the workforce in almost every field moving forward in the next 10 years even. Uh, with the exponential growth of AI and its integration and everything in society, uh, it's going to take a short amount of time to feel these kind of impacts. And one of the other things it exhibits, uh, I noticed in comments when I talked about the fact that there's going to be a lot of job replacement moving forward with AI and automation, and I think one of the more uh, important points was the integration the interface of AI and automation, because automation itself is going to eliminate some jobs, but as a lot of experts have pointed out, automation alone isn't going to eliminate all human uh, contributions to, to a lot of these different sectors of the economies. But as I've argued, the interface of AI and automation uh, makes a, a huge difference. And so I stand by my claim that uh, a lot of uh, jobs in all sectors will be eliminated, uh, certainly over the next 10 years. And a good example of that, of course, is that there's automation, say, in restaurants. In China, there there's definitely a lot of uh, restaurants, for example, that have uh, robotic cooks. And they're effective up to a point, but there's some limitations. But when you introduce AI, all of a sudden, uh, a, a robot can actually be an expert chef not only are they going to be a complete uh, encyclopedia of recipes uh, and methods of cooking and how food is supposed to be prepared, but they will also uh, have the finesse uh, to pull off a lot of intric intricacies to assembling food. Um, so, But this story really points it out more than anything I think I've posted, and that's the fact that uh, a company called H2 Clipper has secured a patent uh, for... Um, basically robotic swarms to assemble aircraft without the need of any humans. And uh, they pointed out that AI in, in, in machine learning enables robots to self-improve, to reduce errors, errors, to stay on schedule and adjust actions for perfect assembly. And that makes uh, total sense. Um, and once again, it's about the interface between AI and robotics. And unfortunately, as this article points out, it shows every reason why humans will be uh, uh, not part of the quotient in the future. And if, if they can build a massive technological constructions like aircraft, then certainly they, they are going to be uh, effective in just about every potential area of the economy. Because uh, building an aircraft uh, definitely is very complicated, very technological. And I've already talked about the fact that the replacement of human workers has a lot of advantages, including being able to work around the clock, not having to take maternity leave, not calling in sick, not having to have benefits and pension plans, and not going on strike and all the rest. But uh, this story makes it uh, completely clear like how this could work. Uh, use of autonomous and semi-autonomous robotic swarms in large-scale aircraft and air aerospace production is safer, faster, more precise, more cost-effective, and even uses less space. And what uh, airplane builder, uh, of course thinking of Boeing, is not going to move in that direction. Uh, it even includes the integration of heavy lift robots uh, for where an entire aircraft can be built in one place. And so that's where we won't necessarily need these huge manufacturing facilities the way they're set up now where whole sections of the plane are assembled in different parts of these large facilities. Um, and, and so that's a, a unexpected part of this quotient as far as I was concerned. Um, but it, it can reduce costs by 40% and, and reduce time involved in uh, building an airplane by 60%. And they pointed out the fact that airplanes can be on their side, flipped over on their back in these robot swarms. Uh, could construct an aircraft with very little elbow room and, and, and if they, they're self-learning then they can absorb all the information on engineering and, and assembly and construction 
and continually grow uh, their knowledge of that process and um, and, the, and the whole idea that of course they're, they're going to be a lot faster they're, they're not going to uh, have all the issues that a human worker would have and also safer because they uh, immediately assess any safety issues and the, and the fact that these robots would not have any issues working up in high spaces and all the potential uh, for accidents or just uh, workers that don't really uh, want to be in those situations where uh, putting putting a plane together has dangerous elements and uh, the whole idea that it's cost effective I mean that's the bottom line if a, a huge plant like Boeing can replace all its workers which believe me they're thinking of after this last strike particularly and all the demands for benefits and pay and, and the like. Imagine one cost investment to, to get AI in, infused um, robots and automation that can do everything faster and with less safety problems and um, less space and all, all the above. So it's kind of a no-brainer. So to me this story uh, is very revealing indeed and very illuminating that, that uh, my belief that moving forward there's with the interface of AI and automation there's very few jobs that will be untouched moving forward and this is a prime example of that I'm useful idiot don't you be one too